Hi everyone, in this video we're going to explore the solution to the 2021 AMC 10B number 18. And in this problem we have a fair six-sided die that is repeatedly rolled an odd number of times. What's the probability that until an odd number appears? What's the probability that every even number appears at least once before the first occurrence of an odd number? So how can we do this? Well, here's, here's the idea here. This is something called conditional probability. Basically, we want to find the probability that we roll a unique even number and the probability we roll an odd number. So basically, on the first roll, we have six possibilities. One, two, three, four, five, six. So out of these six possibilities, three out of six of them, two, four, and six, will result in you rolling a unique even number. If you roll an odd number, then, then you've already, then it doesn't count. So then, then just throw out those possibilities. So there's a three six chance of rolling an even number on your first roll. Okay, so now that you've rolled an even number on your first roll, let's say it's two, it doesn't really matter. Let's say it's two. So now on your second roll, now what must you roll in order to get a unique even number? Well, if you roll an odd number, again, you immediately lose. So we cannot run an odd number. But if you roll the two again, then it doesn't really do anything. Because if you roll two again, then you're kind of back to the same position because you're not really getting a unique even number because you need to get all three different even numbers. You can't just get one even number repeated multiple times. So if, if you get two, it won't really affect anything. But if you get four or six, then you're good because if you get four or a six, then you know that now you have a unique even number. So what we can actually do is we can see that there's going to be a two fifth chance of rolling a unique even number over all the odd numbers. The reason is this is maybe a little bit confusing, but if you roll a two again, it doesn't really matter. So we just throw out that possibility because if we throw two again, we're back to the same position. So we'd say, okay, ignoring two, because if you roll two, it won't really affect anything. Now what's the probability of rolling a four or a six? Well, out of the five remaining possibilities, that's two fifth. So we multiply by two fifth. And for the last roll, we have again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And what must be rolled to get another unique given number? So let's say we've picked the two, we picked the four already. So again, if you roll a two or a four again, we're essentially coming back to the same position where we have to roll the last six. So it doesn't really matter if you roll a two or a four. So now from the remaining four possibilities, we have that there's a one fourth chance of rolling an even number. So we multiply by one fourth. And this gives us, we cancel, we get, this is just going to be equal to, so three six or one, let's just say one half times two fifth times one fourth, which is equal to one over 20. And that is the answer for this problem. So what is the main observation here? The main observation here is that you need to look for the probability of rolling unique numbers on each roll. Because if we roll the same number again, it won't really matter. So we just ignore that case completely. And we want to find the probability of rolling three unique even numbers. So that's why we use something, a technique that's very powerful called conditional probability. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more competition math videos. Bye everyone.